Welcome to a casted game of Age of Empires 4, spawning in on the northern side of the map in the color purple. It's Valdemar1902 making his debut here on the channel, playing as the French. It's opponent today spawning in on the south side of the map. It's WNTD SAS, who, who we will be calling SAS for short, playing as the Ottomans today. Going to be opening up here with the military school. Makes a lot of sense up against the French here. We can see he's gathered up the stone. Now going to be dropping down the military school. Now, the reason this makes a lot of sense in this matchup... I mean, this, we tend to see this a lot anyway. But it, it makes especially more sense here up against the French. Because, obviously, French love their Royal Knights. And they love raiding with them very early on. And dropping down this military school means you can get three spearmen out before the first knight arrives at your base. And, and those three spearmen are crucial. They can defend from so much. You know, you can if, if you want to go for a second town center, you don't need to build any barracks for spearmen. You don't need to build a tower. You've got your three spearmen here. You can sit them under here, gather up your stone. And it's going to be a lot, a lot more tricky for French to get off any raids. Well, Valdemar over here. Not going to be opening up with any early wheelbarrow. Sometimes we do see this from the French player. Not going to be the case this time. Wanting to go for that uh, that fast a job makes a lot of sense we're gonna have to see if he looks to go into a second town center himself we're gonna have to see if uh, sas looks to put any sort of early aggression on with these spearmen it's gonna be quite tricky but i mean we are on the map dry arabia so we might be able to get a little bit of harassment onto that gold mine but obviously valdemar going for the very fast age up here he's gonna have enough gold in the bank for the age up but the question is, can he do any sort of harassment here on the villagers to maybe maybe deny a wheelbarrow? Because I, I would assume Valdemar would look to go for a wheelbarrow at some point in in transition. Usually usually what we see. And there we go. The first spearman is on the way. We'll take a look at, at SAS's perspective right now. Doesn't have the scout nearby. Usually at this point, the scout is usually moving out with the spearman or has already scouted what the opponent is up to. We can see Valdemar going to be aging up now with five villagers on the School of Cavalry there. And Valdemar should have enough gold here to be able to queue up a first knight. As you can see, that spearman's still, still quite a distance away. Scout now moving in as well. I mean, it is really important to... Uh, oh, my bad. Wrong button there. It's really important to scout the enemy town center because... Uh, I mean, you just have no clue where the gold mine is. You could be moving around the wrong side right now. As you can see, does, doesn't know where the gold is whatsoever. And this could be pretty bad. SAS might run his, his spearman into the town center here. Valdemar needs to... He, he hops his villagers inside and takes out the spearman. What a what a waste of a spearman right there. I mean, that really just comes down to not scouting out the enemy. That's why it's so important to bring your scout ahead of your spearman. Our second spearman does come out and he's rallying that spearman up there as well. I mean, you really want to keep these spearmen alive for, for when those knights start to come out. And we can see Valdemar, he's going to have enough gold in the bank for uh, for a knight, a second knight, and get some upgrades in as well. Twin minaret madras coming through from SS. We can see he actually did pull back that second spearman. He wants to keep it over here on the on the gold mine. Makes a lot of sense. You really don't want to be losing, losing more spears. There we go, Valdemar does age up. Now, it does actually take three spearmen to be able to deal with a, a royal knight. So this one spear here is not going to be enough, but it might be enough to just defend from that, from, from that, you know, you can get off the brace. It'll be hard for the royal knight to kill any villagers as they can run back. So one spearman should be enough for the time being, but you really do want a, th uh, a third one, really. That way you can, you can kill the knight without any sort of worry. We can see that Royal Knight is on the way for Valdemar. SAS about to, to age up here. And we can see he's gathered up uh, 167 gold right there. I think that's enough just for Wheelbarrow. Sometimes we do see players gather up another extra 100 gold so they can grab a double Broadaxe as well. Doesn't look like that's going to be the case this time though. Two spears here, just camping the woodline. They're looking out. They're on patrol right now. I really like that move, patrolling just each side. Making sure to defend from that, that royal knight. And now we've got a barracks being dropped down as well. Gold not being spent quite yet. Maybe it's being saved for a blacksmith upgrade. We can see their wheelbarrow. Be a nice upgrade to grab right now. 
Royal Knight for Valdemar just looking for... Looking for some places to raid. Not a lot up for grabs, though. We can see SS didn't move out onto the stone mine for, for, another, for a second military school. Probably just going to be waiting for the time being. And it makes a lot of sense when there's Royal Knights about. As you can see, that second one's coming in as well. You need to keep the spearmen. Spearmen around the place. I mean, maybe SS wants to just get down a couple walls here. Just to defend. Scout for Valdemar needs to be careful there. Barrack's going to be upgrading the to the, the Spearman to the Harden phase. We can see Royal Knight going to be doing a little bit of idle there. Not too much as we can see Spearman are here. Knight going to be taking a bit of damage there on both of them that right there. Blacksmith coming down as well. And I mean that leftover gold, uh, it's, it's got to be for a, for a Blacksmith upgrade, right? Maybe we see Fitted Leatherwork come in. Up against those Knights. But a very oddly specific number of gold was gathered. Now we go. The first Vizier does come in. Let's have a look. See what he goes for. It's going to be Anatolian Hills. I mean, makes a lot of sense. Up against the French. Spahi in as well from that military school. Which has it. Uh, or actually, that probably... Was that, did that come from the stable? Might have come from the stable. But we can see that Royal Knight needs to be careful. But interesting to see Anatolian Hills coming through from SAS. Uh... Again, playing up against the French, you don't really want to be expanding out too far. I mean, it's always nice to get those deer, but it is very nice to just stay in the base. So getting those extra extra sheep in and the extra mining speed is always nice as well. We can see Spearman here defending that stone mine. We'll take a look over here at, at Valdemar. He's moved out onto the, the deer. And now we've actually got archers on the way. Second archery range is going to be dropped down. So looking to go very heavy on the H2 here. N no sort of second town center coming through from him whatsoever. You can see currently two villagers ahead. More Royal Knights are making their way onto the field. And we see the Archers are making their way down now as well. Valdemar going to be... Uh, well, SAS going to be reacting to this with Spahi. You can see two Spahi are out. He did lose one a little bit earlier, a little bit earlier on. We've got the meta out as well, which is which was produced from that military school. Archery range dropped down for him as well. I mean, the Ottomans love their archbull mass. Goes really, really well with the with the meta. And it's also a, a nice unit to make when you when you play as the Ottoman because you like to just stay stay in your base here. I mean, double broadaxe would be really nice here. You, you're floating 100 gold, SS. You may as well grab one of these upgrades. I mean, you could just mine a little bit more and grab that wheelbarrow. But the mass starting to grow here for Valdemar. We see SAS going to be moving out with this Spahi. He might want to bring them back, though. Might be looking to pick off some reinforcements, but doesn't really have much of an answer here to these to these archers. He's got a big enough Spearman mass, though. Spearman mass looking really decent. That second military school is coming down now. Might look to mine up a little bit more. So that second Vizier... Players do tend to go for the plus one military schools. So you can construct a third one in age two. But we can see SAS getting off a nice little raid here. Going to be idling a few villagers. Taking one down right there. Second one might be going down as well. We can see SAS commits to that. And now should be able to just retreat back with this. Doesn't want to take too much damage to these Spahis. But going to be taking out an archer here as well. He's going to be fighting underneath that town center fire though. Probably not the, the best fight there near the end. Especially with reinforcements coming in to clean this up. You can see Meta was on attack, attack drums. Sometimes when you're fighting underneath the town center like that, it's always nice to switch it to ranged defense drums. Wasn't the case that time, but this is going to be cleaned up here. We can see the Knight's just going to be able to clean up the spy here right there. Meta should be able to retreat out of this alive, but quite a bit of damage goes onto that Meta right there. We can see reinforcements for SAS are here as well. Archers starting to be built now as well. Only the one archery range. We see the, the second military school set to Spearman. Might be a little bit of an accident there. We do tend to, to see players switch them to Spahi. But sometimes you can't forget, whenever I build a military school, I tend to just forget that, that it automatically queues up Spearman. It would be cool if there was a, a way to automatically... I, I mean, we probably don't need more automation in these military schools, to be honest. But yeah, we can see the mass really starting to grow now for SAS. The same regard, this this mass of Royal Knight looking really, really decent for Valdemar. 
More archery range just being dropped down as well. You can see Valdemar just looking for villagers right now. It looks like SAS is going to be moving out right now to his opponent's base. Going to be... Uh, it seems a little bit unsure as what he wants to do. He's going to be falling back with his archers. Where is he? Yeah, it looks like he is, but we can see that military school is going to be under a, a little bit of pressure here. Do we have any siege engineering coming through yet from Valdemar? Doesn't even have, doesn't even have a blacksmith down yet, which is quite surprising to me. I mean, French, they get their free upgrade. They get their free bloomery upgrade as soon as they build that blacksmith. You may as well build it nice and early on, but military school is going to be going down here if SS isn't careful, but we can see the spearmen have been brought home. Did a little bit of aggression there with the with the spy here and the archers. Well, the spearmen at home look to defend, but that military school is going to be under a lot of pressure. We can see it did get switched to archers. Not going to be able to even get one of those out, though, as that is going to be going down. I don't see a way of him saving this unless he pulls some villagers, and there we go. It does go down. So that's a large investment there lost for SAS. Really like what Valdemar did there. I mean, that's 250 resources gone for like, what, one spearman he got out of that? But still not looking too bad for SS. We can actually see his two villagers ahead despite being up against the French with their faster town centers. And it looks like Valdemar's really struggling for the time being with food. He was under quite a bit of pressure. 22 villagers here moving out onto the deer. SAS still looking in a very decent position right now. Floating lots of wood, lots of food. Perfect for making lots of archers. And we can see a third archery range going to be dropped down. He just wants to go so heavy on, this, on the, the archers here. But needs to be careful though up against those Royal Knights. Does not want to lose his spearman mass. And we can see Valdemar's got enough archers right now to one-shot those. We can see there the Royal Knights just going to be able to tank all of the damage coming through. And this is looking pretty decent for Valdemar. There's just not enough spears in here. Uh, Micro is perfectly on point here, taking out all of those spearmen. And now the Royal Knights are going to be able to engage onto these archers. Meta might be going down here, still on the attack drums. And it looks like he's just going to be sacrificing the rest of those archers, trying to trade up against Valdemar's. But the Royal Knights are just going to be able to clean up everything there. Really, really bad fight there for SAS. I mean, Valdemar at this point in the game is looking in a commanding position. Despite being four villagers behind, it's all right. He'll catch up with that in the long run. And at this point in time, SS has only been on one military school. Finally constructing that second or This is his, his third military school, but lost that second one, obviously. So he hasn't managed to get a lot of value out of these military schools. And he's just lost his whole army. Finally, Wheelbarrow coming in for Valdemar. Grabbing lots of those eco upgrades as well. We see SAS grabbing some upgrades in as well now. We can see they gather quite a bit of gold. And he's going to be relocating his villagers over here. We can see actually building loads of walls. Really needs to be careful right now with these villagers. We can see he's still got the berries in here. Would have been really nice if he had if he had a deer patch over here as well. But unfortunately, not going to be the case. But he's, he's quite safe for the time being with these walls. Going to be trying to build a gate here though. Needs to be careful here. That villager is going to be going down. And we can see he does cancel that gate. If, that, if he didn't cancel that gate and he burns it down, that wall would have gone down with it. And that would have meant all of these units could have gone in. Valdemar just going to be moving around, trying to see if he can find an entrance point, it seems. Still only two military schools for the time being. But it's just mo looking to move out. Wants to completely wall up the, this, uh, this side of the map. 12 villagers is quite a hefty investment though. That's a lot of idle time just to build a few walls. But I guess you do get you do get in. Well, I mean, it would have been nice for those deer. But you do get this whole deer patch over here. We can see another vizier does come in. But Valdemar looking to really push forward here. Does SAS have enough of a mass? I mean, the spearman mass is not looking too decent right here. How many how many spearmen? Seven spearmen. He needs to get more of these out. Because that's not going to be enough against up against nine royal knights and a horseman. This is going to be a tough fight for him, especially with this food being pushed off as well. A couple villagers might be going down here if he's not careful as well. First villager is going to be going down, we can see. Valdemar going to be pulling back for the time being. Needs to focus down those spearmen. Meta gets focused down first. A really smart move from Valdemar. Now he's going to focus down the spearmen. And his Royal Knights are going to have a field day here on these on these archers. Still no fitted leather work in for, for SAS either. 
these Royal Knights are going to be doing so much damage. To be fair, no upgrades in for Valdemar. I would have really liked to, to have seen Iron Under Mesh underneath this town center. Spy looking to try and get in underneath those archers. We can see SS focusing down these these, these knights. The, the knights need to go down. We can see more spearmen making their way out as well. And this isn't looking too bad for SAS. He's got a nice choke point here for the archers. And he's just focusing down the knights one by one. But behind this, look at what we've got going up. It's the Royal Institute of Valdemar. And it looks like SAS is going to be able to hold. But how much damage has been done? I mean, so much idle time right now. Five well, I, I say that five villagers have been idled and a lot of the army has been taken out for SAS. And he's ha heavily invested into walls. These are multiple hundred, hundreds of uh, wood has been used here on the on the, the walls. But I mean, was this the best fight for Valdemar? I mean, when you're aging up with the Royal Institute, you, you really want a big economic advantage and you really want to keep your, your night mass alive. Because... You need a big economy to, to be able to get in these upgrades and still have a mass. You need that royal bloodlines for all of the, the, the cavalry. And that costs oh, that costs 500 gold. That's a lot of gold. And if you don't have a big enough economy, it can be really, really punishing. We see lots of royal knights did go down as well. There is still a few on the battlefield. I think, how many do we have here? We've got six on the field, two more on the way. But I mean... You'd really want a bigger mass for, for when you go Royal Institute. You really want a nice timing because you can age up with this. Immediately clear up the Royal Bloodlines in, I think it's a minute and a half it takes the upgrade. Or it might even be two minutes. But as soon as the upgrade comes in, you want to punish your enemy immediately. And, it, and it's really tricky for the enemy to do that. We can see Royal Knight still here for Valdemar. Able to do some, some villager killing here. Luckily, SAS does have, does have his mass around. Going to be surrounding those knights with the villagers as well. And they are going to be going down. Would have been nice if he could have saved those, but I think he did get walled back in. So, I guess, uh, I guess, good job on the the couple of villager kills you got there. And I keep going to be coming down for Valdemar. He knows that he that he knows that SS is going to be pushing, and that is exactly what he looks to do here. So keep going to be coming down here. And it also this does provide the the cheaper units around the around the keep. So it makes a lot of sense. We see Valdemar very far, well actually not too far off actually, a couple hundred gold off that Royal Bloodlines. But going to be grabbing his Veterancy upgrades for the Archers first. Veterancy Royal Knights already in. Definitely the most important upgrade there. So we can see only eight Spearmen, I mean, yeah that Spearman mass not looking too good. And these Royal Bloodlines, if they, oh not Royal Bloodlines, Royal Knights, they can probably take this fight. As long as the Archers are focusing down the Spears, you'll be alright. And that keep is up. And this is going to be really tricky for SAS to try and... To try and do any sort of damage here to Valdemar. It looks like Valdemar wants to continue mining stone. Looking really, really strong right now. If he can get down a keep drop on the enemy, he'll be looking in a fantastic position. SS just looking to continue to wall up this position. Doesn't want to chop through here. Be really bad if Royal Knights can run through there. Happens all the time. But I mean, Valdemar at the moment is very happy to just sit here. He needs to get through some of these crucial upgrades. I mean, just keep on massing up these these knights. Grab, grab your royal bloodlines, and you should be able to crush this with ease. We can see going to be taking engagement here. Needs to be careful of the spears. Still not an efficient fight you want to be taking without your archers. Twenty two archers here for Valdemar. I'm surprised he doesn't push forward. I, I he could, he could crush that. So many knights here, so many archers, and they're at Braiders as well. He's buying time for SAS, and we can see he's going to be aging up now. 12 villagers on the Mohammed Imperial Armory Blacksmith there as well to increase the, the production speed. But Valdemar's mass looking very, very good right here. Finally taking the villager lead as well. Two villagers ahead at this point in time, but I don't think that makes up for the three military schools that, that SAS has. And then the Mohammed Imperial Armory is going to be adding to that as well. So SAS looking really decent. We can see his macro right now. Is that going to be nice? I, I think it's... Yeah, oh yeah, it definitely is going to be nice. Have a look at that. Two stables being dropped down as well. Knights is an interesting choice here. Your knights are just going to be worse than your opponent's knights. Because they do have royal bloodlines. Um, and also keep going to be reducing the cost. We can see they're quite cheap knights. Something that we don't see a lot of players do early on in the game is drop down that keep. So I really like how Valdemar's done that. 
Knight's going to be charging in there. Lots of spearmen still here for SAS. Those archers need to, need, to, need to focus down those spearmen. But SAS doesn't have any veteran upgrades through just yet. We can see the first one's going to be put in the queue. A minute away for all that, that archer veterancy upgrade. Spy here, here looking to do a little bit of damage, but Royal Knight's here for Valdemar. Able to push them back. Unfortunately, the spy he just don't do enough damage fast enough to be able to to kill these these villagers. But SAS needs to be careful. He doesn't want to lose his army before his upgrades come in. We still don't have any sort of veterancy spearmen. Outpost going to be dropped here. We have, we have a few crossbow and knights making their way here. SAS, why are you doing this? This is not a fight you want to be taking. This is not a fight you want. To, you don't even have veterancy upgrades in for any any of these units. We do have the metas here, three metas here, but we can just see how quickly that got crushed. No royal bloodlines in on these knights, but it doesn't matter. Such a good fight here for Valdemar. I mean, it's still not terrible for SAS. He did do quite a bit of damage onto Valdemar, but this could have been so much better with veterancy upgrades in. Just not enough, not enough time here for SAS. He has walls up. He could have bought so much time behind the walls there, but going to be losing his whole entire mass right now. We do have... We can have one more military school being built. I'm sure that'll be on the way soon. But we can see SAS going to be mining stone as well. Is this going to be for a keep drop? I think it might be. And there we go. There is that fourth military school. To so Valdemar once again behind the villagers only by two. So did, did lose some villagers somewhere. I think he must have lost them uh, to a couple spy. Four military schools. Mohammed Imperial Armory. Going to be producing that first mangonel in about eight seconds time. This is going to be tricky for Valdemar. He needs to get out, he needs to get out some sort of siege. I mean, just one springled is enough to deal with this. Unless you can get your knights in there onto the mangonel. But it can always be very tricky to do so. We also have Imams moving out now to pick up the relics. Valdemar looking to do some raiding with his knights for the time being. Enough stone has been mined for SAS. There we go. He's going to be putting some villagers now. Where is he going to be going for that keep though? Lots of walls going up for Valdemar. Wow, that is some aggressive walling. Interesting to see. I mean, I, it secures up the gold mines. Definitely a crucial part. But I mean, gold's not a huge issue right now for SAS. Still got a couple in the base. And I'm going to be going down. We did see the keep being dropped right there for SAS. But it does cancel it. I'm not sure where the, those villagers are. We can see the keep. Actually, just going to be dropped in the base here next to the wood line. Interesting positioning, to be honest. I feel like this doesn't achieve too much because Valdemar, yeah, he can just push on this side, and that keep, that keep really does just doesn't achieve much. Yeah, we can see he does actually cancel it. Where's he going to be building it instead, though? He's placed it down somewhere. Where's he placed it? Or is he just... How has he lost all that stone? Where's the keep? He does... He, he's, he's spent the stone somewhere. Oh, it's here. Okay, so he's going to be going a little bit more aggressive with it, securing up that gold mine. As we can see, Valdemar is looking to push him off of this gold mine down here. And not a lot of gold left on this main one. Only 100 left on that one. But SS is going to be able to push this back for the time being as that mangonel is out. Second one almost here as well. 25 seconds away. Lots of knights making their way onto the field as well. Wouldn't be surprised to see some stone walls possibly going up along here. SAS has got some stone in the bank. May as well spend it on something. But Valdemar still... Still yet to grab royal bloodlines. He's grabbing enlistment incentives, which which makes a lot of sense. You get even cheaper knights, even cheaper arbalests, even even cheaper everything here. And there we go. Royal bloodlines is going to be queued up behind that. Really an important upgrade. I'm really surprised to see Valdemar not picking that up even earlier on. And finally now grabbing his blacksmith upgrade. Super late in the game. I mean. This is, he, he's, he's got the, the tier two uh, plus one attack, but you get that for free with the, the French anyway. Fits the other work and Iron Under Mesh and Military Academy going to be coming in as well. Keep going to be grabbing Boiling Oil. 
Really important upgrade up against the French. I mean, really important up against any sort of knight sieve. Or any knight composition. As it means you can keep your army underneath the keep. And the enemy preferably doesn't want to charge in those knights underneath that keep. But two mangonels are out for SAS. Valdemar needs to be careful because one shot from these two mangonels and your army might be dead. But that wall still going up for Valdemar. Almost getting an off a nice shot there. Mangonels focusing on that wall. Now Sacred Sight going to be captured up for Valdemar here. Both of them picking up relics. We see Valdemar actually got four out of the five relics. SAS only picking up the one. Despite, despite having the, the mosque up first. Wololo going to be going off. SAS needs to be careful here. Ooh, that was a that was a little bit close for comfort right there. But huge engagement right here. SAS needs to be careful. Going to be losing these mangonels. Ooh, gets off some nice shots onto those archers though. Still going to be losing out both mangonels if he's not careful. Keeps one of them alive. Going to get off a nice, another nice shot. Huge shots coming through right now. For SAS onto those archers. I don't think it's going to be enough though. Mangadel still alive though. Managing. Oh, the pretty poor shot. Only taking out one archer right there. Crossbow are going to be enough to take out those knights though. Still no royal bloodlines. Again, Valdemar not getting this upgrade in early. Early enough. That could have been so much of a better fight for him. Crossbow are going to be fighting up against archers now. Archers are going to be able to take the better fight, but reinforcements coming in for SAS. I mean, look how fast those reinforcements are coming through right now. Another Vizier comes in as well, and these, these knights are going to be enough to take out these the rest of these archers. And we see raids going on in the base right now. SAS putting way ahead in villagers right now. This is not what you want as a French player. The French should be way ahead in villagers right now, considering they're both still only on one town center. This is looking better and better for SAS, and the, the reinforcements just coming through right now. I mean, uh, Wololo going to be going off. Not going to be caught, not going to be doing much there. We can see no knights were affected, but that, that relic is going to be denied yet again. Still only two relics in the bank, despite despite Valdemar having another two on the way home. But SAS looking really strong here. We can just see the power of these military schools. Four military schools just pumping out metas, knights, spearmen. I mean, it's just so good. And Vizier comes in as well. Probably going to be to to increase the speed of these these as well. We can see there. Knights up against Royal Knights. They do have their Royal Bloodlines in. So these are good French Knights. But we can see crossbows are behind this as well. Able to just do so much damage. Keep here for Valdemar. He's buying, a, buying himself a lot of time though. But still, he's built these farms on the wrong side of the base. He needed these behind the base. And that's just so much idle time right now on these farms. Valdemar got no food in the bank whatsoever. We can see if we flip this to, to how many villagers he's got on food. Oh, it Im immediately goes up as he returns his villagers back to work. But I don't know if that's going to be how long that's going to be lasting for. We've got Janissaries here as well now for SAS. Going to be able to do really well up against these Royal, royal Knights. And Valdemar having to return his villagers back to the town center. His food not looking too good whatsoever. And he's really struggling to get Eunice out on the battlefield right now. We see three Royal Knights are in the queue, but how's he getting his food? He's got no food whatsoever behind the base. All of his all of his farms have been built here on the front line. This is the worst position to build your farms. Trebuchet in the queue now as well for SS. Is that coming through from the Imperial? It's not. That's on Springles. So he's got a uh, siege workshop up somewhere. We can see lots of siege actually here. Siege crews come through for him as well. Just see how much damage SAS is doing right now. And GG is going to get called. SAS playing that one so well up against the French. Absolutely amazing game right there. Unfortunately for Valdemar. Not going to be taking the win today. Win does go over to SAS. So well played by him. If you did enjoy this game, please do feel free to leave a like. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.